When England lifted the World Cup in 1966, Nobby Styles' jig for joy, his toothless grin and obvious delight, was an image that captured the celebrations of a nation. Norbert Styles was the boy from Collyhurst who signed for Manchester United and found himself playing with George Best, an unlikely double act who combined to herald a new era of success for United, as he recalled in a documentary for those glory days. I'd be at Old Trafford and, and daydream, I've said it before, I'd, and I'd be, as he announcing the teams and say, and now they, they're announcing me, uh, Norbert Styles, you know, number, number four or something like Collywood. Um, and that was I used to dream it. Fortunate enough, I lived the dream. In 1968, fans celebrated this team's finest moment, a decade after the Munich crash that had stolen the lives of so many players. United beat Benfica, lifting the European Cup at Wembley, finally giving manager Matt Busby the European trophy he'd craved. Best and Styles, some of the first to share in the post-match congratulations. Paddy Creran played alongside him on the other wing. He was a great player for England and he was a great player for Manchester United. Five foot six, how is he going to win anything? But with Billy Fuchs, he was good in the air and Nobby was great on the ground. Despite his achievements, in 2010, Nobby sold his medals to raise money for his family. A sad decision for a man who'd played for England. His death today, after years suffering from dementia, means just four members of that victorious England team are still living.